Hi prospectors, today we are going to look at how to craft wood beams. Let's log in and see how that goes. So handcrafting items is going to be very very important in the Grand Land. This is because before the Grand Land, all the old lands used to have tool auctions, uh, building auctions, animal auctions, uh, but this time we're just going to have animal auctions. Uh, so it's going to be very important to have handcrafting skills because everything is going to start from scratch in the Grand Land. Okay, so I have this worker here at the railway. Uh, it's very easy and convenient to buy items at the railway so let me just click on that and so because we are interested in crafting wood beams i'll just buy the materials required for crafting wood beams and of course that's just wood let's look at the wiki and check out what we want to craft that's it wood beams so the weight is two kilograms per wood beam and the manufacturing time is three minutes and time to craft by hands is 30 minutes so if you manufacture this in uh, the proper building which is uh, here a sawmill it will take it will take only three minutes you know but if we do it by hand it's gonna take 10 times longer all right so yeah that's how the grand land is gonna start it's gonna start very very slowly all right so this skill is going to be very important to have now that you've seen what we are gonna craft let's do the crafting let's buy the required materials so let's click again see what we need uh, we're just gonna need three kilograms of wood all right so let's get into it let's find some three kilos of wood at the train station because that's where one of my workers is and it's a convenient place to buy items all right so here is the market um, just clicking on the market button and voila and wood is selected so uh we just want three kilos there is this guy on top selling at uh, 31 gold per kilogram so let me just click on that and say we need three kilos and that's gonna cost us 93 gold and i say bye okay just a moment just a moment and there we are so my worker here the one highlighted in uh, blue and with the extra buttons there is at the train station let me just click on the storage there and click on the worker uh, and select the wood and move it into his backpack and now that it's moved into his backpack that's when he can craft so if you want to craft you click on the worker we double click let's do that again double click uh, there are three tabs here but you go to the manufacturing tab the third one here so there are materials up here and tools down here so these are the only items your worker can craft we select the uh, let's just select a different one just to show you what's required you see things changing down here but let's get back to the wood beam so if i click manufacture my worker is gonna take three no not three minutes yeah that only happens if you have a sawmill it's gonna take 30 minutes crafting this single wood beam he doesn't require any tools for that i know he has a shovel up here but let me actually get rid of it let me just instead of putting it aside let me just put it in the storage here so let's move it i'm moving it to the storage on the plot 
and it's no longer in his hands so i just want to show you that you don't need any tools in order to craft by hand so this is like bare hands if you think about it all right so yeah i know in real life it's close to impossible but you know in the game you can craft using bare hands right so we go back to the manufacturing tab and you can see here it says required materials the wood and the manufacturing time is 30 minutes so manufacture right and there we are he is now manufacturing a wood beam and i'll get back to you a few seconds to the end of the manufacturing um, after that we will discuss some of the things you need to put into consideration actually let's just discuss them before i switch off so have to consider walking time to the plot the plot you're gonna get the raw materials from then you have to consider the mining time all right so let me just close this and go to resources and we click on wood so if you're mining with uh, if you're mining wood using tools you mine one kilogram per minute if you try to mine wood using your bare hands or or a manual manual mining you mine 0 0.1 kilogram per minute so everything done by hands is crazy slow and painful you need to put that in mind this is how the grand land is gonna be manual mining at first it's gonna take quite a long time to to get all the necessary items before the world before the land starts to look civilized at all you know it's almost gonna be like the stone age with that in mind you always need to consider how long it's gonna take you to mine the necessary raw materials before you can actually consider doing anything all right okay so you're also going to consider how long it takes you to click you know some of these little things i mean think about how competitive the grand land is gonna be especially that time is a very important factor so if you're gonna manufacture several of these wood beams uh, it's always good to have in mind the amount you want to manufacture make sure you have all the materials you need so that when this gets done right away you go you jump into the next one you jump into the next one just like that you jump into the next and you also need to consider where you're gonna sell these wood beams you know uh, if you are at the railway in the current version of the game it's it's so much fun because most of the people now buy items from the railway okay i'll get back when the manufacturing time is close to the end All right okay yeah so when you actually check in the backpack you can actually see the wood beam over here and if you look at the top right hand corner there is a, a symbol of a clock there which signifies that it's in production so when the time is done it will disappear alarm clocks are a prospector's best friend just turned it off yeah when you're handcrafting you need to be very good friends with alarm clocks if you're a new player you're gonna discover that really fast that you need to be very good friends with an alarm we just have a few seconds before this crafting is over yeah so i hope you've learned something here this knowledge this skill is gonna be very important in the grand land so make sure it's part of your skills arsenal before you get into the grand land so just a few seconds and it will be done 
and the crafting will be over and the crafting will be complete okay eight seven six five four three two one done right that's it so if you look at the required materials down here we no longer have any wood because we used up all the three kilograms we had yeah and when we get into the backpack you can now see that we have a wood beam so uh, i crafted a wood beam without looking at the prices actually which is a terrible mistake but i was just trying to show you how it's done let's just check the prices first and see if we could make a profit if we sold wood beams let me select none and then just get there so <laughs> one wood beam uh can actually sell for 98 uh, pieces of gold um if i remember correctly this is the same exact price we bought our wood uh if you consider manufacturing time uh you know we should be selling it for more but let me just go to the buying tab and see who is buying wood beams i would be shocked okay all right ah this is not bad yes it is because <laughs> we bought we bought our wood at 93 gold and the person willing to buy right now at our current location is buying for 83 pieces of gold so when you're doing these things you always need to consider how much it's gonna cost you and how much you're gonna earn if you decide to sell it right away so because i've been part of all new lands i can already tell you that the grand land is gonna have a lot of demand for any item at the beginning any item so you can plan well for your time and just make sure you are very efficient and the grand land will be so much fun for you all right so let's end it there catch you next time and always remember to mind your business